I'm here with Mark Nelson of Rio Grande, and I bet that you've seen you know, clay done with silver or gold, but I bet you haven't seen bronze. Bronze clay. We have something new. Bronze clay. It's the first alloy uh, mm -hmm. clay out there right now. It's, uh, it's very incredible stuff. Mm -hmm. And what I thought we'd do with it today is a very simple project that you normally would do with the uh, silver and gold clay. Okay. Just is make a mold, and we'll make a simple pendant. Sure. Um, which first of all, what we want to do is make a mold. And we can use a two-part silicone putty. Mm -hmm. And you just want to take two equal amounts. Hold that, thanks. Mm -hmm. You're in there. There we go. Okay. Two equal parts, and you want to mix it together, knead it together really good to uniform color. Okay. And you just do it very quick. It does take about five minutes to set up, so you want to do it fairly quickly. All right. And once you get the uniform color, mm -hmm. you're going to mush it into um, a patty and simply just push your, for this one I got a button, mm -hmm. and just push it in and let it set. And so how long does it have to sit? About before? five minutes. About five minutes? About five minutes. Mm -hmm. And once it's set, you can get a, a nice little mold like that that we can actually push the clay into. Oh, great. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the bronze clay comes in a, a 100 gram or 200 gram package. Wow. And uh, it works best when it's cold. Oh. So if you can keep it sealed and in a fridge, mm -hmm. it, it's a little easier to work. Okay. So. That's a good tip. Has a nice. Because we don't know how to work with it yet. That's right. <laughs> has a nice consistency, and you kind of want to knead it just a little bit. Okay. Beforehand, soften it up, mm -hmm. and you're gonna roll it out just like you would normal uh, silver clay. Okay. And, and is it sticky like some of the other ones? Just as sticky. <laughs> yes. And is this to give you the cards there to give you a level? Yes, as a thickness. Okay. Uh, thickness. For this project, I like about five cards thick. Five cards thick. Because I have a really deep texture. Okay. And I want to make sure I can get that um, that on there. So what did you do just now, just to make sure it doesn't stick on the roller? Right. Mm -hmm. You can see it was sticking to the roller, so I added some um, some some cream to that. Okay. And just get it kind of around the shape that we need it. Mm-hmm. Of course, that's going to depend on the size of your yeah, mold. Yeah, on the size of your mold. Mm -hmm. And here we're going to just kind of lay it in there and just pack it. And you kind of want to pack it to where you kind of feel it go into the texture. Mm. And it's nice because the button you selected had a, had really good texture to it. Yeah, it has a great flower mm -hmm. and some and some nice uh, floral design on yeah. there. Yeah. Very deep, Very detailed. Deep. Yeah. And I can cut this out. You don't want it too thick, though, because bronze is heavy. Okay. And um, it'll add extra weight to your piece. Okay. Do you just cut off the excess? Is just what you cut do? off the excess. And then I can keep your clay dry, keep it in the package when you're not using it, just like regular metal clay. Okay, so the excess that you took off, you can reuse again mm -hmm. to something else. Now, what you might notice is that the there's 10. It's copper and 10 mm -hmm. is the alloy. And the tin will separate and make your hands a little, little dark. Mm. So you can use gloves; that's no problem. Okay. Um, but it can get hard to get off sometimes. Okay. So I'll just leave that there and let it dry. And when it dries, it'll pop right out. Oh, really? Actually, I could pop it out right now, but it'll deform. Okay. The piece. You want to let it dry. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can already start seeing yeah. the form of it. And when it comes out, it'll be dry like that. Okay. And at this point. Treat it like, again, just like normal clay, mm -hmm. and you want to refine your design. You know, take the edges and sand them with the emery board or sandpaper, mm -hmm. and sand the back. Now, for this step, I definitely recommend wearing gloves. Okay. There again, the tin separates out and mm -hmm. it turns your fingers really black. No, I see that that one has the, the hole already pierced in it. Mm -hmm. So you do that when um, do you do that after you take it out of the mold, or I or do that um, after I take it out of the mold. Okay. Uh, because of the kind of mold it is. Mm -hmm. um, there again, I can use a straw. You can use a tool uh, to, just to poke a hole. Okay. And uh, also, there's a diamond file that you can actually drill into the clay hmm. and create a hole that way. Perfect. It's very dense, very stiff stuff. Good. So once you have that done, you feel that you, um, you're ready to fire. Mm -hmm. Firing bronze clay is a little different than silver clay. Okay. It needs an environment mm -hmm. of charcoal. And so what we have, you have to fire in a stainless steel sink with activated charcoal. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's two different kinds of charcoal that you can use. Mm -hmm. One's a coconut shell and one's an uh, acid wash. Okay. The acid wash will give you colors like on our display. Mm -hmm. The coconut will come out 
the bronze will come out very bronzy looking. Right. So it depends on what the effect you're looking for. And all you want to do is just put it in the activated charcoal uh -huh. and cover it up. And you want about a quarter inch, half inch of charcoal over uh -huh. your piece. Okay. And then you put the lid back on. It has to be fired with the lid on. Oh. Okay. And then all you're going to do is set it in your kiln and fire it according to the instructions. So you set it in your kiln already in the container? Already in the container. So it's in the environment of the charcoal? Exactly. And then you turn it on. And how long does it, does it have to it, cook? The, the whole sequence is about nine hours. Nine hours? It, it mm -hmm. fires at 1550, uh, 1550 degrees uh, Fahrenheit for three hours. Wow. But it takes a long time to get there. Mm -hmm. It's a very slow road to call ramp. Mm. And once it fires for three hours, you can either quickly bring this out or let it cool completely okay. and bring it out. I recommend letting it cool completely. Absolutely. <laughs> we, we do all ours ov overnight mm -hmm. and uh, come in the morning and, and pick them then up. And work with it there. Okay, when you so bring once it, it out, comes out, you get something that looks like that. Wow. And this was with the acid washed um, activated charcoal. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of vibrant color. Now, one thing I did notice is that the piece that you put in there is larger than the piece that looks Good. like you took out of there. Good point. This is what went in there. Mm -hmm. And you can see the size difference. Wow. It does shrink about 20%. So that's good to know when you're designing your piece. Exactly. To know that you're going to come out with the smaller piece. Exactly. Okay. And um, mm -hmm. it's kind of a surprise sometimes. Yeah. Some piece, pieces will shrink more than others. Now, do you have to buff it like you have to do some of the other clay? You can treat it however you like to uh, do your finishes. Okay. Just like normal clay. Uh, for me, I like to take a little of um, really fine sandpaper. Mm -hmm. On this particular design, has some. I want to keep the patina in the lower area, so I just want to hit the lower spots. Right. And then, mm -hmm. so I get a pad, paper, and I can just come in. Right. And it doesn't have that that film almost that some like for instance the silver has that white that you have to kind of. You kind of have take to break off. through the surface if you, you want do. the high high okay. shine, and this will polish up to um, a nice yellow. Oh, perfect. A nice bronzy yellow. Yeah. And you can do that in any number of ways. You can do it with that. Sometimes you can just take a, a pink eraser and a little more effort, but it leaves a nice soft matte finish. That's pretty. On there. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. This is the first time we've ever used this. I know. <laughs> we are very excited about it. So when you finish, finished, what else are you doing there? Uh, I'm taking a metal burnisher mm -hmm. and showing that you can use that same burnishing technique from the silver clay and gold clay. So just different options just of different getting options. the finish that you want. And you brought a couple other pieces with you too that I wanted to show everyone that is also using the bronze clay but looks completely different. Completely different. Wow. And that's the nature of the bronze, uh, ability to take on different patinas and different colors. Mm -hmm. uh, it really increases your color palette tremendously. It's extraordinary. Yes, it is. It's, it's really wonderful. nice. Thank you for bringing this brand new bronze clay. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. We'll be right back with Katie Hacker.